Hey everybody, this is the Slipstream here. I'm actually very excited about doing this review because I didn't even know that this guy even existed until I went to a convention in Sacramento and picked this guy up. I got this guy the same time I got Cyclotron and Mary Marvel for those of you who've seen those videos. I am so happy that I got this guy and this dude was loose. He was not in a, a pack. He wasn't. He was in a bag. Very similar to Mary Marvel in my in that review. But the joints are tight on a lot of the figure. And I am very, very happy that I picked this guy up. His name is Cobra. This is the DC Universe. Um, I'm assuming it's the 75 superpower. I haven't done the research for him yet. But he's a Flash villain. Or at least that was that was the first time I had seen him. He was a Flash villain. At some point. I don't know who else he fought after that. Or who else he fought before that. But the first time I was introduced to this character was during the Flash. Wally, Res Wally Wes's run. And as far as I can tell, he didn't have any overt superpowers. Like, he didn't have super speed or anything like that. As far as I know, when I read him in The Flash, he was a cult leader. That's what he did. He manipulated the masses to do what he wanted to do. And I believe he either tried to steal the speed force from Wally from based off of this device that he created, this giant spire that he created in order to siphon speed force. I forget how it went. It's been years and years since I've read it. But I knew that I liked him then. And when I found out that they made a figure of this guy, he was a must-buy for me. I am a Flash guy. He was a must-buy for me. I had needed to have this guy. To add to the Flash Road Gallery, I needed to have this guy. So, that being said, let's get into the review of Cobra. Now I'm going to take this off. Now, I had a few complaints in the Mary Marble review about the cape and capes in general. The cape is the first thing I'm going to start off with here, and I'll get into the rest of it. Now, this looks like one piece of plastic, right? Now, what they did was they made it thick down here and then thinned it out as it went up. So that way you could get a decent range of motion. So that way this doesn't hinder the leg. It's genius. It's genius. Same thing here. They made this a little thicker than they did here. So that way it bends. So that way it doesn't get in its own. It doesn't get in the way of the articulation. Let me straighten this guy up. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the head. It has a 360 movement. It goes up a little bit, um, not so much down. The only complaint that I had is, and I see why they did this, was that the hood doesn't connect with the rest of the garment. But if they were to do that, that would possibly hinder the uh, the articulation of the figure. Now, what they could have done was made like a little sleeve. They could have done is they could have put this. They could have made this longer, elongated. They could have made this elongated, and then slipped this over, or maybe pressed it over, or put this underneath here and elongated it. So that way you can. So that way you can still not break up the continuity and you can still suspend the disbelief because as it currently stands like you can see right through the hood like uh, right here in the back you can see right through it and that sort of breaks up the the continuity of the figure which is you know that's that's it that's just me nitpicking but the hood looks good you know this gold the gold is different from the rest of the costume but the hood looks good um his eyes are dark. They did a really good job on the articulation. I'm not the articulation, but the detail in the face as far as like the lines and things like that. The thing is, he's smirking in an evil way, but he's not. He doesn't have the Happy Meal grin, which can really throw off 
uh, the way a figure looks in a battle. His arm goes around 360, which is cool because they make this soft plastic, like the back, well, excuse me, they made this soft plastic, so you can easily just push right past it. Arm gets 360, there's a bicep swivel, single elbow joint, same deal, uh, wrist twist, same thing with the other arm, bicep swivel, single elbow joint, single elbow joint. Same deal. Wrist twizzle. Wrist twist. Uh, ab crunch. Nice. Goes back to a pretty good degree. And because of the way they designed the cape, the cape doesn't prevent him from going backwards. And it straightens back out. It's, it's incredible. I like it. Uh, he's got a waist twist that goes around 360. He also has the same deal as Cyclotron, like his leg goes out. But because of this, it sort of hides it. And if you manipulate it right, you can make it look like he's just kicking. Do like that, you make it look like he's just kicking, and it looks fine. His leg goes up to about there. Goes back to about there. Same deal, has a uh, lower thigh twist here. Um, single knee joint. <clears throat> no uh, no shin twist. Has a... No rocker, no rocker or anything like that, but goes back to a pretty good degree. Goes forward to a pretty good degree. To an extreme degree. Um, same deal with the other leg. Goes back. Forward. Single knee. Goes up. Goes back. Looks good. Um, I want to, I had to stop saying, um, I want to get into the detail of this guy. So I'm going to slow this review down a little bit because I feel like I'm rushing. Like ever since I started doing these reviews, I feel like I'm just bum rushing. I guess I'm still a little nervous, but the thing I love the most about this, this particular guy is there's sort of dulled paint. Like there's like shiny paint here, there's dull paint there, there's shiny paint here, shiny paint there, and there's dull paint here. To me, to me, that's okay. <clears throat> they got the color scheme right of the character. They're very dull golds, which is like he was in the comic, and I can't complain about that. Because in the comic, he did have, that is the aesthetics of his costume. So I'm not complaining about that. The thing I absolutely love about this, this guy, is the detail they put into the green. In the comic book, he had scales, and these aren't like painted on, these are etched in to the plastic. He has scales all over his green suit. And I absolutely love it. I think that is fan. Fantastic. They really did, and they didn't have to. They DC could have phoned it in and just said, you know what? We don't even have to make this guy, let alone make him accurate. But they did. And I appreciate that. And I am happy. I am so happy that I picked this guy up when I did, and I didn't pass on it. Because I was thinking about it. But he's a flash villain, he's a flash guy. So I picked him up, and I couldn't be happier. The scales on this look fantastic. The green, you know, the green looks good. Like, the green looks good. You know, I don't want to nitpick it too much because he is accurate. This is accurate to the character that was drawn in the comic. And as long as they got that down... You know, not only does he look like he did in the comic book, when I saw him, 
that brings back all those nostalgic memories of when I seen him for the first time. He's also functional. And with all of this, with all of this, this uh, drape here, the cape, the shoulders, the hood, he doesn't get in his own way. And that is something that I can appreciate. Do not, if you're a Flash fan, do not sleep on this guy. Okay? That was me cracking my knuckles. Um, yeah, before I forget, I gotta stop saying um as a filler word, but before I forget, he also comes with a staff. A staff isn't really like, um, it's not, you know, writing home to mom or anything about like that, about this staff. But I was surprised that he even came with a staff because... He uh, he came in a bag, like a loose bag, and he easily could have not come with accessories, but I'm glad that he did come with this accessory. I'm glad that the people who decided to sell him loose in a bag decided to keep it and didn't lose it, because it really does bring the whole thing together. Because in the comic, he also had a staff, so it brings the whole thing together, and it looks good. But if you're a Flash fan, pick this guy up. I can't recommend this guy to someone who do, who does not know who he is. If you don't know who he is, you probably won't get any enjoyment out of the character. Because for me, I sort of like to either get a character and find out stuff about him. So that way I can have the context when I use him in photos. So that way I'm doing it accurately. With Cobra, like I said, if you have Flash figures, which I do... And you need Flash, you need more Flash villains, which I do. He is a must-have for your Flash guy. If you're a toy collector, do not sleep on this guy. Pick this dude up. I highly recommend him. I am not sorry one day, not sorry at all, one day for picking this guy up. I am very happy with him, and I can't wait to do more photography with this guy in the future. So until then, if you like this video... Rate it, subscribe, comment. Until next time, follow the slipstream.